Meet Cheetah Rivera. This beautiful woman is a Broadway legend who has thrilled audiences for over seven decades and continues to do so even at the age of 90. She's been the recipient of several awards and has the record for the most Tony Award nominations by an actress. Cheetah just released her memoir, eponymously named Cheetah, earlier this year. And she's still dancing her way across performance hall stages in 2023. How does she manage to maintain her energy and enthusiasm even at this age? In today's video, we honor the incredible life of 90 years young Cheetah Rivera, the poor Latina girl turned iconic Broadway megastar, and share her top tips for aging gracefully. Born on January 23, 1933, in Washington, D.C., Gina Rivera discovered her passion for dancing at a young age, although somewhat accidentally. She was only seven when her father passed away, leaving her mother to take care of her and her four siblings. Chita was a boisterous tomboy who loved to climb the furniture and get into trouble. For that, Chita's mother enrolled her into ballet lessons with Doris Jones to give her some structure. The Jones Haywood Ballet School, which opened in 1941, was one of the first ballet schools for people of color in the United States. It had a reputation for excellence and afforded Cheetah an audition for George Balanchine's prestigious School of American Ballet. She was accepted and at the age of 16, she relocated to New York City. Cheetah's career really kicked off when she auditioned for the chorus line for a touring production. Her talent and charm caught the attention of directors and choreographers, launching her to the forefront of the theater scene. As a Latina woman in the 1950s and 60s, opportunities for leading roles were scarce, and Cheetah Rivera often encountered stereotypes and limited casting options. However, she refused to be confined by these limitations and instead focused on honing her craft and showcasing her immense talent. Her first break came in 1951, when she was cast in the Broadway musical Call Me Madam. However, it was her collaboration with Jerome Robbins and Leonard Bernstein that propelled her to stardom. In 1957, she originated the role Anita in the groundbreaking musical West Side Story. Her fierce portrayal of the spirited and tragic character led her to her first Tony Award nomination. Known for her tendency to attract Tonys, Cheetah married Tony Mordente in 1957. The couple had a daughter together but divorced in 1966, and Rivera never remarried. In 1975, Cheetah had another career-defining moment when she starred in the musical Chicago as Velma Kelly. Her sizzling portrayal of the murderous vaudevillian cemented her status as a Broadway icon and earned her a Drama Desk Award. Cheetah was in a severe car accident in 1986 that left her with a fractured leg. Many feared this might end her career, but with unwavering determination, she fought her way back to the stage. Through intense rehabilitation and sheer willpower, Rivera triumphantly returned to performing. Cheetah Rivera has consistently pushed boundaries and broken barriers. She became the first Latino-American woman to receive a Kennedy Center honor in 2002. And beyond that, her list of accolades include two Tony Awards, a Tony Lifetime Achievement Award, and a Presidential Medal of Freedom, presented to her by Barack Obama in 2009. Despite hurdles and setbacks, Cheetah Rivera's illustrious career is a testament to her resilience, strength, and love for the theater. From her interviews on talk shows to her performances on stage, what stands out immediately is how beautiful and healthy Cheetah has remained throughout her career. This woman is 90 and is more energetic than some people in their 20s. How does she do it? Before we get into the details of how this Broadway legend is still able to perform and do high kicks without breaking a sweat, remember to leave a like and subscribe so you never miss any of our unique videos. Let's take a look at Cheetah's morning routine. Cheetah reserves her morning time as a sort of sacred space for herself and her thoughts. She's confessed that she doesn't even begin interacting with other people until 12 p.m. You may think like most high performers, Cheetah must wake up before the sun and get right to work. But that is actually not the case. 
Jita's many years of late night performing have dramatically shifted her natural sleep cycle. Because of this, she tends to not fully wake up until 10 a.m. each morning. However, Jita is well aware of the importance of quality sleep and never sacrifices her rest. She knows that she can only perform well if she has recovered well. Let's talk about Cheetah's diet and exercise routine. You might think that a professional dancer would be fanatical about what she puts in her mouth. But you'll be surprised to discover that when it comes to food, Cheetah isn't very picky. In the morning, she favors toast or a banana nut muffin and a cup of hot tea with milk and sugar. For dinner, there's even more freedom in her food selection. However, one thing that she swears by is eating early. She normally eats dinner at 5 p.m. every evening. Cheetah also emphasizes eating in moderation. In fact, that's probably her only rule. She doesn't subscribe to any dogmatic diets. She's not gluten or dairy free. She's not a vegan or pure carnivore. She believes in moderation. She eats what she likes in appropriate quantities, whether it's vegetables or crispy fried chicken. Aside from eating in controlled portions, the 90-year-old Broadway star also exercises consistently. Cheetah rides her bicycle for a minimum of 20 minutes every afternoon. She also works with a trainer most days to help keep her in top form, maintaining her strength, stability and coordination, as well as her poise and gracefulness. Movement is a non-negotiable for Cheetah. She believes that when you stop moving, you stop, period. She knows that movement is life and staying in shape is the only way she can keep up with her regular club act and reoccurring performances with her band. More powerful than any tips about eating and exercising is Cheetah's unbreakable mindset. The 90-year-old talks about living very much day to day. She's absorbed in being as present as possible with every moment. She has a regular practice of gratitude. In fact, she will tell you that being grateful is the secret to life. In her interviews, she often talks about how important her family, especially her daughter, and her social network of friends are to her. They keep her engaged and inspire her to keep going. She's profoundly grateful for them, and she often refers to her daughter, Lisa Mordente, as her greatest production. Cheetah's mindset was certainly sharpened throughout a career of intense competition, frequent prejudice, and occasional heartbreak and disappointment. Here are three key points that she learned in her lifetime. One, she doesn't let problems fester or spend days worrying about them. If there's a problem, she faces it head on and deals with it immediately. Two, she is not sensitive to criticism. In fact, she always looks for usefulness in it. And if it doesn't serve her, she lets it go. Three, she sees every closed door, not as a rejection or failure, but as an opportunity to open new doors. Look for the opportunities and you will find them. This is one of Cheetah's principal viewpoints. And then maybe most importantly, Cheetah doesn't believe in retirement. Rather, she believes in adjusting to the changes in her life as they arise. She's not in denial about her age, and she doesn't fight the aging process. She moves with it. You can even say she dances with it. Cheetah knows that while her body might change, her heart remains constant. Even now, she continues to remain open to all the opportunities life has in store for her, and she accepts those opportunities with gratitude. What do you think of the legendary Cheetah Rivera and her ability to continue performing at the age of 90? Let us know in the comments.